Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in the previous tutorial we have learned how to explicitly overload the generic function with the normal functions or you know we have learned the explicit specialization on the generic functions. So in this tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to overload the generic function by overloading the template specification itself. So if it is confusing don't worry you know when we see the example it's gonna be clear. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create our generic function and then we're going to overload that generic function with another generic function you know the only thing that is going to differ is the number of parameters you know both the generic function with the same name is going to take all right first we need to write the keyword template and then less than and greater than symbol and between that we need to write the keyword type name or class i'm going to write type name and then we need to give a name for the generic type and let's say t and then we need to write the return type let's say void and then the function name let's say what you got and then you know the parameters that are going to be taken by this generic function let's say our what you got function is going to take only one parameter here let's say x and in this body we're going to write the uh, generic function with one parameter and then I'm just gonna end this line and then I'm gonna use another C out and I'm just gonna say I got x equal to and then I'm gonna refer x and I'm gonna end this line alright now we have defined a generic function the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna write another generic function with the same name you know what you got and we're gonna make it to differ in the number of parameter it's gonna take so i'm gonna write template and then the less than and greater than symbol and between that i'm gonna write type name and it's gonna work on two generic types so let's say first one is gonna be t1 and the next one is gonna be t2 all right then we need to write the function name and the function body so what i can do is i can copy this from here and i can paste it here and we're just gonna make it to take two parameter so it's gonna be t1x and t2y and here i'm gonna change this one to two parameter and uh, i got x equal to x i can copy this and I can paste it in the next line and I'm gonna change this one to Y and here also we need to change this one to Y so now we have defined two generic function with the same name and they are gonna take different number of parameters alright the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do the function prototyping so I'm gonna copy this and before my main function I'm gonna paste it and I'm gonna copy the second one and i'm gonna paste it here and add the semicolon all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this what you got function in our program so i'm gonna use it it's gonna be what you got and then we need to pass the parameter you know we can pass one parameter or two parameters and also we can pass any type of parameter because you know it's a generic function and it is taking the generic type of data all right i'm just gonna pass 55 you know an integer value and then i'm gonna call this function again what you got and this time i'm gonna pass a string value anil then i'm gonna call it again what you got and this time i can pass 55.68 you know a floating point value and then i'm gonna call it again and i'm just gonna pass two parameters let's say 55 comma 33.8 five nine you know any type of data and then i'm gonna call it again for one more time and i'm just gonna pass two string values anil and i'm gonna pass anjali and i'm gonna add the semicolon here all right now i'm just gonna build and run this all right we got the error and that's because you know i have misspelled it it should be type name and here also don't make any silly mistakes like this and I'm gonna build and run it again 
and now you guys can see you know in this first call it says generic function with one parameter and i got 55 then generic function with one parameter i got anil generic function with one parameter i got 55.68 and then you know the generic function with two parameter i got 55 and i got 33.59 and it says generic function with two parameter i got anil and i got anjali so here what we have done is we have defined two generic function and they are having the same name you know what you got and they are taking the parameters which are of generic types all right and you know i have explained you how to create the generic function with the same name and you know by using a by using a standard parameter so you know you know we can have a generic function what you got with this parameter and we can have another function what you got with only one parameter and it is taking a integer type at that time you know that integer version is gonna override the the generic function and you know i have explained in uh, the previous tutorial i think so this is it guys this is how you guys can overload the generic function template in c plus thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial